for the sign of Aries. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Aries, for the present time, five of swords in the tower. So with this five of swords, it's showing that you could start to have some mixed feelings about life in general and maybe a few people in particular. It's going to be important for you not to ignore these signs. But don't feel like you can, you can speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either because that could ruin the very thing that you want the most, such as close intimate relationships with your friends and lovers. So think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. It's about picking your battles. So this Five of Swords is paired with the Tower card, which is about time, which is about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo. Now that can be a disaster if you try to do this, or if you try to hold on too tight. It's going to be important to remember you've got to roll with the changes. It's likely, when you get the Tower card in your reading, it's likely that some people's situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. This doesn't have to be drastic, or this doesn't have to be a bad thing, or just know that change is the nature of life, put it that way. So, if you try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this is the time that some of them might come crashing down. And that's only going to be a problem if you let it be. You'll be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some of them come falling apart. Just keep in mind that dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality too. So basically, coming up mid-May, for the present time, where it says present, that's for mid-May for you. We've got the Five of Swords and the Tower, and basically with these two cards paired together, it's showing that you're going to be enlightened. You're going to wake up by some type of disaster. Something's going to come crashing down. And you could start to have mixed feelings about certain people. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to think twice about certain people and certain, or it could be certain, a certain situation because it looks like it caused something to come crashing down. So conflict could be near with the Five of Swords showing up. But um, just remember this tower moment is only going to be a problem if you let it be. You can rebuild if some fantasies fall apart. But there will be some conflict with someone or some people, some situation. So, why don't we move on over, Aries, if you're dealing with someone, they see you as the Ten of Swords and the Four of Cups. Now this Ten of Swords, you see this man has all these swords stabbed in his back and he's, he's out for the count. He's on the ground, face down. And these dogs are looking as, as if, is this for us or what's going on? You know, they're not sure. But anyway, this is a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. Because when the 10 comes up in, relations, in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, this is a pretty clear answer of no. But try to keep in mind that when one door closes, another door opens. So you're being guided at this time to a situation that's better for you. Trust yourself and trust in the universe. So this is how they see you. The person you're, you're dealing with, they see you as being or feeling defeated. They see you as feeling like there's um, failure. Now let's clarify this because it's with the Four of Cups. The card below it where this man is sitting, looks like he's sitting in a par at a park on grass. 
and he's just stuck in his head there. He can't even get up and his hand is bleeding. He's stuck in his head, okay? So this card is about wishful thinking. It reminds us to remember to pay attention or it warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and count the many blessings that we currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be because it's going to be really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure that you're counting your blessings and don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away because a lot of life has to do with, well, a lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. So try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So that, the Four of Cups is also how they see you. Ten of Swords and Four of Cups. So they see you as probably daydreaming with some regrets with this Four of Cups. And they see you as hitting a painful ending or a rock bottom, hitting rock bottom with a painful ending. Um, so they see you as defeated and you have a lot of regrets. So let's move over and let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see them as this Five of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Wands, it refers to competition. As you can see, these five men, where it says you see them right above, there's five men, they're about to battle each other with their wands. So it's about competition. It could be work, career, could be romantic rivals. Just know that you shouldn't be afraid of competing. Know that um, you have something to offer and you can be successful, but you're going to have to try to see results. So the need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever at this time. So hold your head up high and have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. So you may be thinking of making a career change. And if that's the case, just know that you can be successful too. So this is one of the ways you see your person, like the five of wands. Uh, you two are probably not seeing eye to eye. You're not seeing eye to eye with these five of wands coming up. So you also see them as the Queen of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles, it's showing that you could be spending time and money and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. This is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight and maybe some advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is gonna be a time period when you get a whole lot accomplished. So you also see them as this Queen of Pentacles. They want, they're wanting this connection to be more comfortable. You could see them as being caring. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is a housewife. Uh, someone really, probably sense, maybe sensible, down to earth type person. So you, you see them as wanting to bring comfort to this connection but right now you guys are not seeing eye to eye with this five of wands there there's some challenges challenges probably romantic rivals so you see them as probably bringing competition to this connection so looks like they make you struggle for dominance because of the outsiders maybe they're um other people involved so it puts obstacles in this connection but you also see them as maybe they looks like they want to make it more workable or try to fix things but for right now there's probably romantic rivals so why don't we move over and let's take a look at why it's happening we got this eight of pentacles and it's with the strength card now the eight of pentacles it points to necessary efforts 
If you can, can you see the picture of this man? He's outside and he's working day until night and probably thereafter. Uh, it's looked like it was daytime. Now it looks like it's going into nighttime. He's still working really hard. He's got, um, uh, doesn't look like he's going to stop anytime soon. And on top of that, it looks like it's raining really heavy. I don't know if you can see the rain, but it's, there are big drops coming down in that picture right above where it says why happening. So this is about, um, you having, well, this is about having a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication to the task is going to be important, but if you let it work for its own sake, that can be counterproductive. So it's about being clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance. No one could and should work all the time. This is a period of very hard work. And this doesn't have to be negative, but you must be, pre you must be prepared for it. So this is one of the reasons why it's happening. There's a lot of passion here, a lot of motivation. So we'll clarify this because that's kind of vague. It's clarified with the card below, which is the strength card. Now this card is showing it's a time to meditate, contemplate, and probably spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you got a lot of kids. So don't allow yourself to spend time in fear or preoccupation. Because the outward things will be going all right, but what's most important is probably trying to keep your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So conquer any fears and control any impulses and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. So basically, Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card is why it's happening. It looks like the well, the strength card is about a strong relationship that's mutually supportive. So, could be you or your person that's that's looking to work or go, or or are trying to work really hard to make this connection strong, or strong like it used to be, or strong like it should be. So someone looks like they're going into overdrive. But why don't we go through this whole reading just to make sure that we've got a clear picture of what's going on here. So basically we talked about the present time. There is, um, looks like some, some anxiety there. Yeah, with the five of, yeah, with those five of swords. That man running around with those wolves in the fire. Yeah, there's some mixed feelings. So you got mixed feelings about this connection, about your person, Aries. Mixed feelings. And something happened that caused a tower moment. So you were a lot enlightened and woken up. Something caused a tower moment. And then you were enlightened, you were enlightened by this disaster. And then they see you as this Ten of Swords and Four of Cups with regret and feeling like this connection is a failure. Yeah, they see you just stuck in your head there and you just feel like the connection is its painful and it's hit rock bottom. And then you see them as, like I said, the Five of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. It looks like they want to, you see them as wanting to, or maybe attempting or wishing to make this situation better with that Queen of Pentacles there. Because there was probably, it looks like competition. They were probably... Um, maybe this person that you, your person may have been pursued by several people or, um, there were other people in the mix. Okay. 
but they realize that they're, this caused a problem. So they're wanting to change this and make the situation more workable. With the Queen of Pentacles there, it's about comfort, okay? So it looks like they're trying to fix it or something like that. But why it's happening, there's a lot of passion here with this Eight of Pentacles, this man working overdrive. Um, you or your person, probably your person, wants to master this connection. Uh, it looks like they've realized that you're probably the one that they choose. It looks like they, they want to go in overdrive, overtime, to fix what's wrong and make the relationship more workable. And it looks like they're going to be motivated to do this because that's what the Eight of Pentacles does. There's a lot of motivation, passion. It's about mastering your craft. And they're doing this because they want the relationship to be strong. Maybe they want to make it like it used to be in the beginning. They want this to be a stronger relationship. So they're working really hard to make up for their mistakes. But it looks like there could have been some romantic rivals or uh, a lot of people. It looked like there was competition that caused this problem. And it caused a tower moment. And and then you had mixed feelings. And you were just stuck in your head. And you felt like the connection was a, a it was a disaster. But it looks like your person wants to work on it and fix it and make it more comfortable and make it to what it should be. Should be. Should be.